Hello, Leslie here with my 2021 Happy Planner. We're going to be doing my end of the year flip through. This is a Fox vinyl decal sticker from my shop. It's like a glittery permanent vinyl. Um, so that's going to stay on there forever. <laughs> um, these are little rose gold coils, but this is the cover that I originally came with. I didn't change it, um, but this was the most neutral planner. And I'm pretty sure I picked this up at Joann's a long time ago. So let's go ahead and flip in and get started. Okay. So we have my hello page, which has my name, which I actually didn't make this one. This one came from Planning in Blue Jeans. I did make relax, which is funny because I think that's my word of the year for next this coming year, but I did make a vinyl of that as well. <laughs> and then this one, it says I may regret my life decisions, but at least I made them. Um, that was a quote that I said about washi tape and a shop picked it up and made stickers out of it. Um, I don't use that. I don't use that either. None of that. Um, I did decorate this and I started using this. Oh, no, my word of the year was inspire, not relax. That's what I thought. I was like, I'm pretty sure I made a clip that said inspire. It was gold and it stuck on my sticker pocket forever. So that was my word of the year last year. So this year is relax. Um, things of note, kind of memory planning. I did get it a little smudgy down here. Oops. Um, and then this month I was grateful for all the snow. We got a bunch of snow days that year. And then I don't remember where these gnome stickers were from, but aren't they so cute? And they totally match my winter gnome paper clips. So that's fun. All right. Monthly view. Cause I was doing the monthly memory planning at this point. Um, it does change. I will tell you that, <laughs> but there you go. Lots of different stickers here from lots of different shops. I see some sweet choir design, sweet Ava's paper. Um, that's a sweet choir design, I think too. Some pretty planner, some sticker patch. It's a variety. <laughs> this kit is from Cricut paper co. All right. And then this one, let's see. This one is the one where I used, I think, two different shops and my Happy Planner sticker book. So I'm not going to remember what shops they are because I don't remember. I think they were leftovers. Um, so we have our washi tape here. I used all of the sparkly New Year's stickers for my sticker books. <laughs> this one's fun. This one's lots of fun. <laughs> Stay in my PJs. <laughs> no school. All right. This one was a squad goal sticker book spread that I used some washi tape in... I'm trying to remember if this was, this one might be from the washi tape shop. This is from the sticker book itself. So there's that one. And then we have this one. Ooh, this one. Who is this from? This might have been from the sticker patch or a really old kit from Britannia Nicole. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> I'm spacing. I'm looking at the checklist and trying to figure it out. I think, I think it's from So Cute. Nope. The sticker patch. Oh, goodness. I don't remember. I'm sorry. <laughs> Usually, I'm much better at this. All right. And then this one. Let's see. Um, this was a mini kit, I believe, from Planning in Blue Jeans. I want to say that's right because this looks like a Planning in Blue Jeans sticker. But I'm not 100% on that. The washi tape here, here, and here is all Planner Society. I know that. And then Lisa Lorene plans. I was using little character stickers. All right. And then this one. Ooh, who's this one from? Ooh, this was a kid I was holding on to. This is from the, this is from Planner Sister Stickers. I'm almost positive. I love these ice skates. I think they're so cute. And I love all the plaid. I even have like a special plaid bow. Yes, give me all the plaid. <laughs> all right. And then didn't do much here. This month's focus apparently was love because it's Valentine's Day. <laughs> and then we have this spread right here. Once again, this kit was de to me and is from... Cricut Paper Co. Um, I was memory planning here, but I got bad about adding like deco stickers. I just didn't have, I guess, the time or the sticker on me when I was filling this in. And then this one right here. See, it has that banner again. This is from I'm a Sticker Addict. I just put that together. This one's from I'm a Sticker Addict. I just put that together. Yay! <laughs> So I was going, I'm starting my Valentine's Day kits. I always do that the first week of February, which I think this year I get to do three weeks of Valentine's Day kits. And then this one is also from I'm a Sticker Addict. Yes, it is. I was trying to make sure. <laughs> and then I have chunks of washi here and there, but very minimal space in between each one. Look how cute these squirrels are. And little hedgies. Love it. All right, and then this one, this kit is from... Cricut Paper Co. And I'm pretty sure I purchased this one because I wanted it really bad because the 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 
pattern in these reminded me of washi tape I had from the Planner Society, so I knew I could make a really cute spread out of it. Um, and so here you go. <laughs> That's what I ended up with. So I spread out my full boxes, it looks like, in this one. And then here, this one is from Planner Sister Stickers. Nice and cozy, a little puppy in there. That's adorable. I love that one. Almost kind of Christmassy. There's a wreath here, but I figured it was more winter. <laughs> All right, and then um, this one's focused. Apparently, it was working on being bold. I don't know. <laughs> and then I didn't write anything else in there. I just added some deco stickers, probably from a freebie. It says, girl, you already have what it takes. And then March, you can see I'm still memory planning in here, but I'm not putting a lot of deco stickers. Um, when I put the soccer, it means that he's like doing soccer things. Oh yeah, we signed my son up um, in March for a weekly soccer lessons. That's what we did. That started then, I'm pretty sure. And then this one, who is this kid from? This is from I'm a Sticker Addict too, I think. Yeah, it is. I can tell because of the date covers. <laughs> this is from I'm a Sticker Addict, kind of a little brunch thing which I thought would be fun. I liked how green the kit was because I was leaning in towards St. Patrick's Day. So I'm putting all my full boxes at the top. Ooh, blueberry pancakes. That sounds good. All right, and then this one is from Sweet Kawhi Design. And it was a crafty kit, and I used it for the week of our shop anniversary, which always falls around March 11th. So put that in your calendars because it is coming up. <laughs> that will do my shop anniversary sale. So that's always fun. So this year will be year seven. Can you believe it? Seven years. All right, here is <laughs> the lovely, lovely kid. <laughs> okay, this one is from I'm a Sticker Addict as well. I love this gold washi from Simply Gilded. It's perfect for this spread. And then this is not washi. This is foil overlays from I'm a Sticker Addict that I put over gold um, glitter headers. So I thought that would be fun to do. And then this, I went ahead. Okay, so... <laughs> This is our wedding anniversary, which is why I put the like big cake here because it almost looks like an Irish wedding right here. Um, but here's our 11th wedding anniversary, but I still want to do a love kit. So I did it the next week. <laughs> so, so this was the week after our um, anniversary and I did more of an anniversary spread here. I was playing with overlays again. I kind of went away from those again. I need to dig them back out. Honestly, I just put things away. So April, I wanted to focus more on wellness, which did happen. I just didn't really talk about it. Um, this one that was a sticker I was going to use and I didn't end up having room in my spread. So I stuck it on my dashboard, the divider board, whatever you call this. It says you are great. And then, so this one didn't decorate it, but did go ahead and keep memory planning and then added all the deco stickers. I just didn't decorate this. And then this one we have Easter. I thought this one would be fun to do. I used some washi tape here that has little Easter eggs in it in the grass. And then the stickers are all from a happy planner sticker book. So are those, yeah, so this is a happy planner spread with some leftovers. I think that might be from Party Planner. Um, these are from I'm a Sticker Addict, I think. I don't know. I was trying to remember. Purple Panda Planner. I'm trying to shout out shops as I see them. These are from Ilza when she had a shop. And then this one was really fun to do. This one's from Raindrops on Paper Co. She's experimenting with doing kits. I think I did this one and a Fox one that were hers. Um, this week I got... I don't remember if I was under the weather or if I just got really busy, but not a lot of planning was happening. <laughs> you can see lots of blanks. I was stickering and putting some things in as I go and I wrote down what we ate, but yeah, not a lot was happening that week. Then we go to this week and I was back at it. So this one is from, ooh, who is this from? Was it Lisa Lorene Plans or Lilac? I think there was a Lilac paper or something or other. I think that might have been from there, but I made a clip that looked like this birdhouse <laughs> because that's what I wanted. So this one was a cute one. I dropped my dates down. That was different. And then here, this one, oh my goodness. This one is, oh my gosh, what's the shop name? Nicole, Nikki, mm, Nikki plus three. There it is. <laughs> I was like, which one is it? <laughs> Nikki plus three. You can tell I don't prep. I don't like pre go through my spreads. This is me just like looking at them with you. So very foiled. She sent this to me when I agreed to freebie swap with her, I think for her shop anniversary. And then this one that was fun to do. I widened out so much. Now I would have definitely been using my Signo gel pen. Definitely be doing this, not my big fat wide out from Tombow. Um, but I still really like this spread and I like the washi tape from the Planner Society. So that one was a fun one to do. 
And then didn't use this, but did decorate it with a little bee stuff, which is cute. Um, we simply, we simply are worthy as is. That's cute. And then once again, documented some stuff, but didn't decorate the spread really. So you can see it's kind of like I'm running out of time to do things. <laughs> All right. First week of May is Teacher Appreciation Week and Mother's Day. So <laughs> kind of a self-care sleep in. Um, let's stay in bed spread <laughs> for that week. <laughs> I thought that would be kind of funny. And then I love this puppy because it looks like my puppy as well. Um, this kit is from the Planner Sister Stickers. And then this one is not a kit. This one is a sticker book, um, a Happy Planner sticker book, and then some Planner Society washi tape here and there. I find a lot of my Planner Society washi tape works good with those kits. And then these are leftover checklists, I think, from I'm a Sticker Addict. All right, this one I used stickers from a Happy Planner sticker book or ones that were sent to me. I think they were sent to me. Then I used chunks of washi from a tube, I think, but I don't remember from where. And then I was trying to experiment with different placements of washi tape. So that was kind of fun to do. This one, oh goodness, this one. This one's fun. I was experimenting with doing the double full boxes together. I feel like every spread I'm like, I'm experimenting with this. <laughs> um, but it's true. So the, <laughs> this one's from Planner Sister Stickers. And I really want to use the extra long um, double full box here of her chilling on the couch eating ice cream or cereal something out of a bowl so I thought that would be fun to use I feel like it's cereal just because like there's some breakfasty morning elements I don't know but I thought this one was cool because of the black and white with a touch of color here and there and I could use this washi which I never get to use which is from the planner society all right so I did decorate this one a little bit <laughs> The puppy dog is so funny. Um, and then documented a few things probably because it's our birthday month. And then I said focus is health, mental, and physical for June. And then it says never forget how wildly capable you are. And then I did I did document the monthly spread. But once again, there's a lack of stickers happening and I didn't decorate it. <laughs> and then this one, I used stickers from the Happy Planner. And then used washi tape from the Planner Society. And then I think that's from an old tube from Michael's. That one's Planner Society. This sticker box is from I'm a Sticker Addict. So just kind of grab what I need. These um, Countdown Until My Birthday stickers are from uh, Mad Hatter Sticker Co. I think it's Mad Hatter Sticker Co. Yeah. And then this one is a fun one. <laughs> so this one, I bought this kit from um, Sweet Kawhi Design. But I really wanted like Mario quotes and stuff on here. Um, so those were made by Mad Hatter Sticker Co. The Let's It Go, Mama Mia. I stocked those on there. So those weren't already on there. In case you wanted to know. And then I'm seeing, this is weird. There's like a yellowing. I did an overlay sticker of that cupcake. And I'm wondering why on top of the vinyl, why it turned my black ink to having a yellow glow around it see you don't look at your planner for a while and then look what happens all right and then this one is a father's day kit which i had never done before i'm pretty sure from sweet koi design i was looking at all the colors i had the perfect washi <laughs> i love it <laughs> all right this one was fun this was for my husband's birthday because he loves sushi <laughs> so i got this kit from sweet koi design and i just really love it <laughs> yeah this one's fun. It makes me happy still. <laughs> All right. Went crazy on this one. I think I did this with you guys. I think this was a film summer bucket list. So that's probably why I look so cool because I did it with you guys. Um, July says very little is needed to make a happy life. And then the month of July, I did have a kit. Um, this kit is from Raindrops on Paper Co. And then I did decorate more in this spread because I had time. It was summer. <laughs> Didn't write anything for the 31st though. Drop the ball there. All right, this is my birthday week. It is the week of 4th of July, but it was also my birthday week. So I did a 4th of July spread in my Erin Condren, and then I did a birthday spread in my Happy Planner. That's kind of how I decided to do it, and there's a little party llama. This one's from the Planner Sister Stickers shop on Etsy. So this one was really fun. I really like that one. So yes, I'm going to be 35 this coming year. Also, I do a birthday sale, so make sure you mark my planner. <laughs> mark in your planner what my birthday is so you know when I'm going to have sale again. <laughs> All right, and then July 5th through the 11th, um, this was a sheet that was de to me, but it's Happy Planner stickers, and I just thought an underwater theme at the bottom of my page would just be so cute, and then this is a Happy Planner sticker, 
and then headers I don't leftovers today stickers were from raindrops on paper co um this washi I think is simply gilded oh look at this one it's so wild July 12th through the 18th this one's really fun this one's from planner sister stickers as well and then we have the next one this one's from planner sister stickers as well <laughs> look what happened Sunday Sunday was bad okay so I got my Fitbit around this time period and started tracking it in this planner later I stopped tracking it in here and I get it I get my um health my own planner <laughs> so this one's July 26th through August 1st um I was experimenting with changing up my spreads with layering um I started watching a lot of um Kel of a plan and planning with Bumble and um some of those other planner girls and trying to experiment with what to write I didn't end up writing anything on Sunday that looks kind of funny so there you go started doing it playing with my font I don't know I'm always mixing it up and then August I did put a few things down nothing too crazy and then August you can and you will and then an August monthly kit from Raindrops on Paper Co. You can see, obviously, I went back to school and started dropping the ball on, um, you know, memory planning. <laughs> All right. And then this one, I used this sticker book um, from Happy Planner Sticker Book. I picked it up at Joann's. And I really like doing the stars all the way across the page. I even had a couple of people, I think, message me and go, I copied your spread. So that was kind of fun. And then, oh, those cupcakes were amazing. I still talk about them. And that was August of last year. So clearly I need to get baked some more. All right. This one is from Heather Kell. These stickers are from Heather Kell. And I was experimenting with a little bit more like their style. And so that was kind of fun. And then I was using my line, I was using my line maker, <laughs> which still is not resurfaced. I even cleaned my office day. So I'm probably just gonna have to cut myself a new one. All right. This one Ooh, who is this kit from? I'm not sure. It might be from the sticker patch. I'm not sure. It might have been de-stashed to me. But I was experimenting. I used the bottom washi on the sides. But I love sunflowers, so any spread with sunflowers is fun. All right, this kit is from Planner Sister Stickers. I decided to try not to use the bottom washi at all and just play with the boxes. So that was fun to do. And then didn't decorate anything over here. Added my foil leaf that's in my shop. And it says, think like a queen. A queen is not afraid to fail. Failure is another stepping stone to greatness. Oprah Winfrey. September. Okay, completely dropped the ball. <laughs> Could not keep up at all. <laughs> Wrote a few things and that's about it. So then I kind of started, I think this was around the time where I got behind in planning and started memory planning a little bit more in here. Um, like Sonic Happy Hour. That's like a memory plan thing that I would have done. So this one is um, a sticker book, Plan With Me, from the Happy Planner Sticker Book. And then this one is a Heather Kell spread. And then a little bit of Happy Planner stickers as well. And then this one, this one is from the sticker patch. The gnome kit for September. I played with cutting up the washi. That one was fun. I really like this spread, the whole like in the garden. And then this one is also from the sticker patch. I bought this kit because one, I love fall and two, she put my dog in it. So <laughs> it's not my dog, but it looks like my dog. So I had to have it. And then this one, this one was leftovers and de stash to me. So I don't remember what the shop name is for this one. So sorry. But these stickers are from the Happy Planner. The full box here and here and here are from another shop. But this is a Happy Planner st sticker right there too. All right, and then I added my pumpkin vinyl sticker. I love Halloween, so you know I did like a little fall bucket list thing over here for it. Started getting a little bit better about jotting some things down, but I'm still not like adding deco or anything or decorating the spread. That didn't happen. All right, this is a sticker book from Capital Sheet Designs that I found at Michael's a while ago. I was kind of holding them back, but I always do a pink spread for October. So you guys got to see that one. Big salad for lunch. That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> stuff that point that like it stands out to me um instead of doing the stars across I went with leaves going across a little bit and then I added a few more down here just because I kind of cut it off right there but cutting up the stickers like this I love doing I'm probably going to do that again I haven't done it yet this year and then this one okay so I will start Halloween spreads as soon as I possibly can <laughs> so I went with the scene down here and it's a little bit of memory planning because those are the days we did those things or no I didn't trick-or-treat on the 21st. What are you doing? We did carve a pumpkin that day, probably. <laughs> that 
That was funny. All right, I did this one. So I took my highlighter pen and decorated my days of the week that way. Used some washi tape and then these stickers. I still can't remember exactly where they're from. <laughs> but that one was kind of a fun one to do. And then did not do anything for November there. Oh, how rare you are. Oh, how rare and beautiful you are. When it does this, I never know which way I'm supposed to read it. November wrote a few things down. Put a few stickers down. That's about it. Really love doing that. <laughs> I'm, I've seen three spreads now where I've done the like going across the page. <laughs> and always from this side to this side. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's very funny though. Oh well. All right. And then I have this one from Squad Goals or Seasonal. I think it's Squad Goals. Um, November 8th through the 14th. So we've got lots of the girls and they're on a fall walk. <laughs> and then this one I did. This one is from Sparkle. What is that shop's name? Sparkle and Shine Designs. Sparkle and Shine Designs. She had some full sheets of moving stickers and I bought two sets of them so that I could use all the stickers to decorate for the week we moved into our new house. So there you go. <laughs> Um, lots of eating out. Prepare yourselves for that when you move. I was not prepared for that. <laughs> All right. And then this one, we had Thanksgiving the week after we moved. Can you believe it? I know it was so difficult. <laughs> Put all that together and have Black Friday. <laughs> Let's move and then have Black Friday and Thanksgiving because that's, that's a good idea. All right. And then this one, I didn't decorate, but clearly I had a plan to, but I never did. Hey, there's those gnomes. Okay, the gnomes at the beginning were from Planning in Blue Jeans. There you go. Found it. All right, here's December. Um, Planned to decorate it. Never did. So there's some stuff here. <laughs> but not much. And then this one was Happy Planner stickers. I was using a lot of things up at this point. Yeah, I'm grabbing some washi from the washi tube shop. And then I wanted to do a non-traditional spread. Um, but these stickers are still from uh, the Happy Planner sticker books. And then the washi tape is from Simple Stories. This one is from Planner Sister Stickers. My son and I went to the Nutcracker and saw a beautiful ballerina <laughs> play a gingerbread cookie with a little sass. And that was funny. Love it. And then for the week of Christmas, I finally used up the <laughs> sticker page from um shine sticker studio sticker book from michaels which i do have plans to use the winter sheet soon um because you guys have liked when i used them here so i picked those up at michaels a long time ago and i'm pretty sure they've been clearanced and gone these are recollection stickers that i thought would coordinate well but i don't know it worked out i guess all right and then i don't use the last week of my planner i go ahead and jump into the new one every year um i was using it for line maker tests and then my pen test that i just did on the Le Pen pens, the Le Pen pens, these ones. So that's from that. <laughs> all right, and that's it for 2021. So I hope you guys all had a pretty good year. Um, every year has its ups and downs, right? So there you go. That's my happy planner for 2021. And I already have my next one started for 2022. So I'm excited for that one as well. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.